My name is Ty Givens, and I am the artist behind 2025th Street. 2025th Street is a hobby that's turned into a career for me. I take recycled, old, damaged records and turn them into pieces of art. The art that I make is a lot of different subjects. I tend to focus on things more local, like different sports, organizations, the area I'm in. But I also have a nerdy side, so I like to make things of anime, comic books, video games, things that people enjoy that make you happy. I would say the most popular one is the, the St. John's Bringer one I've made. Lettering and bold lines are what I really enjoy. So a lot of the records that I get come from local record shops. It's the ones that they get that they can't sell, they can't use. So I'll try my best to polish them up. So most of the process starts kind of as a stencil. I'm just going to spray glue it. And that's how I keep it down so that way I can cut it. Position it on the record. Leave a mark that I can get rid of later and just trace along the outside. So now that that's done, we go to the fun part. So this is a wood burner with an X-Acto knife. So when this gets hot enough, it basically just slices right through it. I just zone out when I'm doing it and I don't time just flies. When I first started, I honestly didn't know how or what I was doing. And over the years, you know, you pick up a little skill here and a little skill there. So as you can see now, like some of them like did cut through but some places didn't, so you just go back in, remove the pieces that are left. Ooh. That's why I wear heat gloves. I think the record is great because of the memories of the music. We all have music. Music is something that sticks to us. It's something you hear everywhere. It's something that's in part of every day of your life. It's in elevators, it's in the grocery store. I was also a musician for years, so music and art are two big things for me. So when I can put them together like this, it really works out. <laughs>